Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and I'm bringing you another unboxing video for Magic the Gathering. Today we have in the new dual deck which came out today, and it is Heroes vs. Monsters. I made sure to stop at my local card shop, Top Deck Cards and Games in Bethel Park, PA, and I made sure to be there right when they opened up so I could purchase one of these and then get home and film this as soon as possible to be able to share it with you guys because I think these products are really, really awesome. The dual decks always have fun cards in them and they are perfect for newer players, casual players, anybody that just wants to have fun. And You already start off with two decks. You have two pre-built decks and you can just hand one over to one of your friends and you guys can just have a blast playing with this. So we are going to unbox it here. We're going to take a look at what we have inside of here. So on the back, it just talks a little bit about the uh, the Heroes vs. Monsters theme. And uh, it does say that there are some cards that are going to be coming out in Theros. So you kind of have like a preview of some of the cards, of course. Uh, Pelucranos, World Eater, is one of the new cards from Theros. We also see a reprint of Sun Titan with just really amazing new artwork. But let's crack this open and take a look. So we'll open this up here at the top. Unfortunately, the boxes aren't really reusable after you open them just because they kind of tear. They still are usable to some extent. We'll open this up. So we have our decks here. It also comes in with two inserts. One of them for just generally how to play Magic if you're just brand new to the game and don't know anything about it. So... You might want to check that out, and there's also a insert for the decks, and it tells you all the different contents, how the decks work, and just kind of like a little brief run through, so you know what's going on without even having to look at the cards initially. Uh, it'll just give you kind of a quick rundown there. Uh, we'll move the plastic off to the side. That really doesn't interest us as much. We have our deck boxes here, which are pretty cool. They say Heroes vs. Monsters on the back. And they have our feature cards on the front. These fold up and they're able to store between 60 to 75 cards unsleeved. So for you guys that want to purchase sleeves for your cards, unfortunately you're not going to be able to put them in these boxes. But the plus side is usually your local card shop will have like deck boxes for a buck or two bucks or something like that. At least the really cheap ones. So we'll put the box in the deck boxes off to the side and we'll take a look at these decks. So let's start off with the Sun Titan. And take a look at the Sun Titan here, which looks really awesome. Really excited about the new artwork that they did for him. And also that he's all foiled out. So 6-6 six, six for 6 Vigilance whenever he enters the battlefield or attacks. We can return target permanent with converted mana cost 3 or less from our graveyard to the battlefield. That's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the actual deck itself. Alright, so... We have Somberwald Vigilante. We have Figure of Destiny, which is awesome. It's nice to see this card in a uh, in a pre-built deck. This is a awesome card for aggro-based decks. We have Cavalry Pegasus, Fencing Ace, Thraben Valiant. We have a Stun Sniper, another Stun Sniper, True Fire Paladin. Aramancer. We have Free Wind Equinaut. And we have another one of those. And we have Anax and Samiti, which is another card from uh, from Theros. Armory Guard. Another Armory Guard. We have Gus Cloak Sentinel. Dawn Strike Paladin. We have a Noblesse of War. It's another rare for us here. 3 4 for a whopping uh, 5 Boros hybrid. Flying and uh, attacking creatures you control get plus 2 plus 0. Oh. We have Kamal Pit Fighter, another cool, cool rare that got reprinted. We have Condemn, another Condemn. Always like to have multiples of that. Uh, Daily Regimen. Pay No Heed, Righteousness, Stand Firm, 
Magma Jet. That's awesome. Magma Jet actually got reprinted in Theris as well, so it's cool to see that back. Ordeal of Perforos. Bonds of Faith. We have Moment of Heroism. Undying Rage. Battle Mastery. Griffin Guide. Smite the Monstrous. Miraculous Recovery. Winds of Wrath. Pyrokinesis. We have our lane, so we have some Boros Guild Gates. We have new Banalia. That's pretty cool. We have another one of those. And then it looks like we just have our mountains and our plains. And there's all our planes for us. And we have a 2-2 Griffin token. It's always nice whenever they include the uh, the tokens that come along with some of the cards that are in these decks. So I'm just going to get this back into order here. Just because my OCD will probably kick in whenever I decide to go back through these cards and whatnot. So I'll put those back the way that they were essentially packaged. I'll put the Sun Titan on top just to look nice as a display in the background here. And we have Pelucranos. So 5-5 five, five for 4. Because you got to love value for the mana. And he has Monstrous X where you pay double X and 1 green. And whenever he becomes monstrous, he deals X amount of damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures your opponents control. And each of those creatures deals damage equal to its power to Pelucranos. So, really awesome card. Just such a fat card to have. A 5-5 five, five for 4 is just value. And we'll take a look at the contents of this deck. Put all the wrapping stuff on the side. Uh, so we have Orcish Lumberjack. We have a Deadly Recluse. Another Deadly Recluse. Kavu Predator. Satire Hedonist. Zertaj Druid. We have Blood Ogre. Another Blood Ogre. Troll Ascetic. This is a really tough to deal with card with Hexproof and also having that regenerate. Makes it a pain for your opponents. Uh, we have uh, our Crown Stair Talk. Gorehound Minotaurs. Or Gore Horn Minotaurs. Wow. Two of those. Gore Clan Savage. Deus of Calamity. So he's a 6-6 six, six, for 5 Gruul Hybrid with Trample and whenever he deals 6 or more damage to an opponent, destroy target land that player controls. That's awesome. We have Conquering Mastercore. So 5-5 five, five for 6 flying and uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature and opponent controls until the end of the turn. Untap it and it gets haste. We have Crater uh, Hellion. So it's a 6-6 six, six for 6 with Echo for 6. And whenever it enters the battlefield, it deals 4 damage to each other creature. A little bit of damage dealing going on with that one. Uh, we have Scargun Firebird. 3-3 three, three for 5. Conveniently, we have like all of our rares just in, in order here. Bloodthirst 3, Flying, and for 3 red, you can return it from your graveyard to your hand. Activate the ability only if an opponent was dealt damage this turn. Being able to recur it if it gets dealt with initially is nice. Valley ran it, which can be cycled. We have two of those. Croissan Tusker, also being able to be cycled. Uh, we have Scargon Skybreaker. We have a Shower of Sparks. Prey Upon. Another Prey Upon. We're already playing really big creatures, so Prey Upon is just nice for removal. We have Pyroclasm to get rid of smaller creatures. Regrowth with some awesome new art. Terrifying Presence. We have Destructive Revelry. Dragon Blood. Volt Charge. Another Volt Charge. 
Beast Within. Oh, that's awesome. I actually forgot that Beast Within was uh, put into this set. But that's awesome. Some sick new art. We have Fires of Yavamaya again. Some sick new art. And then we have our lands here. So we have Kazandu Refuge. Another Kazandu Refuge. We have Lana War Reborn. Two of those. We have Skarg the Rage Pits. And then we have our mountains and our forests and a beast token that goes along with the beast within. So I have to say that this set actually looks pretty awesome. Uh, the the themes seems to the themes that they have each and every year seem to be getting better and better. Of course, I like the uh, the different Planeswalker versus Planeswalker sets, but some of these fun, flavorful sets like Heroes versus Monsters are definitely really cool. And for anybody that just plays like casual magic or just wants to have like two decks that you already have that are pre-built that you can play with friends, this is definitely something that you guys want to check out. It's only about like 20 to 25 bucks. I'm sure if you go to your, your local card shop, it'll only be like around 20-ish bucks. So it's definitely something cool to be able to pick up. You get two Mythics and a bunch of Rares in each deck, which is definitely nice for anybody that just even wants to start a collection and wants to have like some kind of starting point for being able to play and collect Magic. So definitely thumbs up for this product. It's something really cool and interesting to invest in. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel for more Magic the Gathering videos, content, unboxing stuff, and Magic the Gathering videos in general. And until next time, guys, have yourselves a wonderful, fun-filled Magic the Gathering day.